Hey everyone, uh, this video is going to be about your Hone Entertainment Center and your media files. And I'm going to go through most of uh, the platforms that will w work with what media types. So for instance, uh, I've got a Vizio TV, uh, it's got a USB in the back of it, uh, hard drive, uh, Plex, a network storage device, and then the uh, Android device, and a PC, and I've got a converter box, which I'm all going to touch on. But I've seen a lot of, let me get the media up here, seen a lot of questions about not streaming certain media or not being able to stream certain media. So let's go to videos. The problem everyone's having is the videos will not show. Okay, we're going to search by folder, and I'm going to go to a show that just came on here recently, and it's an MP4, and I'm going to double click on it to play it, and I get a message. Audio not supported, video format not supported. So that's what everyone's complaining about and that statement is not true it will play you just have to put it in and this was the key you have to use the USB so I've got a Lexar thumb drive it's um, 16 gig actually it's a bigger one but uh, uh, it can do any size whatever holds your videos I've got 128 gig in there right now so it can hold a lot and I'm going to go into TV, <clears throat> and I've got some really high quality stuff in here. Um, some of these programs are 4 gig, 4 to 6 gig, um, but I'm only going to play the royalty free video. It's an MP4, and it works perfectly. So let me stop that. It goes back to the USB. Um, so if you if you don't have a USB in the back of your TV, um, I still have some tips for you because I'm going to go through the Android box and stuff like that. So bear with me. Um, the any any format you want can um, play on the USB. MKV, MOV, MP4, MTS, which are MPEG files, um, virtually any uh, uh, format you want will run directly from the USB. The problem is when you go to um, use a network storage device, like I have two of them, sometimes they'll run AVIs fine, uh, but I'm not going to switch over my whole library to AVIs. So if you have anything hooked up to a USB, I prefer either a thumb drive for your MTS files, or if you've got like a whole storage uh, or a whole hard drive um, that's self-powered, it has its own power supply for the external hard drive. Put that into the USB, and you should run. You should be able to play any format you want. That was the the whole reason for this video. I just figured it out. And I saw a lot of uh, questions. People still can't figure out why their media doesn't play. So the key is the USB. Uh, so I'm going to get into the di different media types that work on what platforms. So MTS, uh, that'll work on the thumb drives. It'll work on the powered hard drives that's hooked up to the USB in back of the, your TV. So you must have that. Um, MTS files will not really work real well on the Android uh, devices. I've got a T95Z Plus and the audio does not work. Uh, I've got another, an A box, Android box, and it, I think, plays MPEG files. It has to be named MPG, but that one oddly plays MPEG files. You just rename it. MPG. So you might want to try those little tricks in order for you to get it to work on the Android box. 
the Plex is over the internet. Um, if you have a, someone who has a NAS, get a free Plex uh, subscription and you can stream media's, media over the internet. Uh, I prefer uh, one megapixel or higher for your internet. Um, the PC will run anything. So to recap, the USB in the back of the TV will play, uh, the Vizio will play anything uh, along with the hard drive. The MyCloud network storage device, very limited to AVI maybe. Uh, that's with the TV. If you're streaming through a PC, the network uh, storage device, it'll play anything. So if you've got a, a, a PC, a, a operating system, that should play any file. But I'm transitioning to an Android box because they're cheaper. I don't want to keep back up, keep backing up, or um, the maintenance of a laptop or a, a desktop that hooks into the back of the TV. It's just a lot of, you know, there's heat that comes off of it. Uh, PCs don't last very long. I've got a couple used ones. One already went out on me. Um, so let me get into the how I do some of the high, real high quality stuff. If, if you're interested in a home entertainment system and haven't figured it out or have a system, uh, this might give you some clues and I'll tell you what I do to enhance your uh, viewing quality. I have a converter box, View TV AT1, AT300. I also had a one, uh, AT163. They're both pretty much the same. And it's these MTS files that it records. It has its own PVR function. And I might get into it a little bit. Um, basically, you can, anything you get over the air. Uh, CW, ABC, NBC, that kind of thing over the air. Basically, the view TVs record the high quality shows. And I'll post a video. I've already made a video on all that, all the what it looks like, what you can use, what you can't use, what antenna. I'll post that. I'll have a link at the top. So, in short, I make these MTS files. They're the highest quality quality you can get, free over the air programming. So check your local listings for channels for you. But um, you can record those, play it on the View TV, so all you really need is a converter box and a TV. If you want to cut out the commercials, I got a video for that. Uh, this is what I do. I record the shows, cut the commercials out within four minutes, copy it onto a medium, uh, like thumb drive or hard drive, and transport it over to the TV or whatever and play it. So I'll link that video, how to cut commercials out, at the top. So now, once you have the commercials out within four or so minutes, then take the time to copy it over to thumb drive, put it in the back of the TV, and that's where these files show up. I've got Legends of Tomorrow and The Gifted on here. Uh, so we just watch it right off the TV and it works flawlessly no hiccups or anything you think a TV wouldn't be that powerful to do that because the file sizes are four to six gig even with the commercials cut out of them so that is my way to uh, watch a show is the USB and back of the TV I think I'm gonna do that with everything because it just takes time to move other stuff over to like a PC or Android box it's not really worth the time. Just stick it in the back of the TV, you know, delete it, whatever. Um, if it's a throwaway show, fine. What I do is if if you have a show you want to keep, uh, it, it's gonna the MTS files are pretty huge. You're gonna run out of space unless you have a big hard drive. You can put it on a hard drive. But save them because later on I'm going to do a video to show you how to convert those MTS files to MP4 files, encode them, and I, I haven't made the video yet, but come back uh, to this video and maybe I'll have a link uh, right at the top once I make it 
to show you how to convert those to mp4s and that will get your file size down from 4 gig or 6 gig down to 300 meg but it will look almost identical to the uh, MTS file with just a little minor quality um, degradation but it if you need the file space that's a good alternative so to recap uh, the Android box will not play MTV, uh, MTS files, uh, so I think your my strategy is to just use the USB in back of the TV. Yeah, there's where the uh, USB is located behind the TV, and then there's a HDMI side out. PCs will play anything. The um, hard drive, powered hard drive hooked up to the back of the TV through the USB will play anything. It's the MyCloud or network storage devices that are kind of iffy. But you can, uh, if you have a, a network storage device or actually a, a NAS, um, you can get a Plex. And I've got a friend, he's got a, a NAS. He's got, I subscribe to Plex, it's free. Uh, you can stream, I stream his movies all the time. And he lives 60 miles away. So that's a that's a uh, thing if you're into the network, big network storage. Um, AVIs will play on the network storage device. This TV won't, but the smaller 55 inch will. So it's going to be hit and miss on if AVI files will play. But you know, if you can. It, Test it at the store. Take a thumb drive with an AVI on it or an MP4. If you can possibly have you know a demonstration model, see if it works. Otherwise, I think you're going to have to use the USB in back of the TV. So just make sure you have a TV, uh, whatever it is. If it's not a Vizio, make sure it has a USB, because that will be your key to streaming all your videos. I might show the back of the TV where the USB is located. Uh, let me get into the View TV. If you're kind of curious, um, I really recommend the View TV. I've done a couple videos. I'll put another um, video on it or a link to it up at the top. But if you want to record, get you know, cut the cord, go over the air I really recommend the view TV uh, so I think I'll leave it there and uh, hope this video helped and uh, stay tuned for uh, more videos